Hi and welcome to WWE Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley and these are our predictions for Clash of Champions. So, as you know, <coughs> we um, do our predictions and if we choose the same one we have to do a coin flip um, and then um, what happens is on the night when we get the results, the person who lost their prediction has to do a forfeit. So the forfeit for this one is to eat a cake without using your hand, so you can only use your mouth. Um, it's a really interesting one. Just one I thought was top of my head to be honest, but yeah. But, um, go on the order of Wikipedia. So first is Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship. Um, we both went for Kevin Owens, but we had to do a coin flip, um, and I lost. So I've got Seth. Uh, it's quite interesting to see Seth try and play face. He's still kind of like a heel character though, but I quite like it. Um, it's very different, something I'm not really not used to seeing, so yeah. Uh, it should be a good match, hopefully. They've set it up quite nicely, and Kevin Owens is always good in the ring, and so is Seth. So I'm actually quite looking forward to it. But, yeah, I think um, Triple H might appear again, possibly, and I think Kevin Owens will win. But uh, yeah, I've had to go with Seth. Okay, so Owens versus Rollins. I've gone for Kevin Owens, um, just because he's only just won it, and I think um, after the, ho the whole Triple H thing, I think it'd be a bit weird that Rollins gets it. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Triple H thing again. Nothing's really kind of come of it other than a few mentions of it. So, yeah, Owens to win. Next, we have the New Day versus Anson Gallows for the Tag Team Championships. Um, I've got a New Day for this one, um, which is probably the when New Day are going to end up losing it because I've said they're going to win it. Um, and the Gallows have beaten them, I think, is it once or twice now? So I just think because of that, they're not going to win, but then because of that, they might win, so I don't know. So, But I've gone for the WWE way of doing things. So I think New Day will win it somehow, some way. Um, but they've had it for ages now, and I'm just not. Up I would like a change thing, but I'm just not sure Anderson and the guys are the right people to have the Tag Team Championships. They don't really seem to be that over with the crowd anymore. People seem a bit bored of them, so I think they need to do something a bit more refreshing to get back in the bigger scheme of things, really, with the crowd, but who knows. Right, New Day versus Anderson and Gallows. I've gone for Anderson and Gallows because they do keep mentioning how long New Day's had it. They've been the longest reigning Tag Team Champions. Um, as much as I love New Day and I'd like them to keep it, um, I do think it's time that it changed hands. So I think it's going to go to Anderson and Gallows. So that could be interesting. Even though I don't think they're the tag team uh, that should get it, it might be time to change hands. Next we have Sasha versus Charlotte versus Bailey for the Women's Championship. I've actually gone with Charlotte for this one. Um, I think to give it back to her, but then her, to lose it in the next paper just because Sasha's back's a bit naff. It's a bit lazy, if I'm honest. So I wouldn't be quite happy with that. And Charlotte is good as a, like she is good. Um, I'm not too happy with how Dana's role is being played though in all this. I, I think Dana will probably help her somehow win. Um, but yeah, I think Emma needs to hurry up and be back and Dana needs to go back to what she was like when she was in NXT because at the moment she's just like not who she was. Her character's completely flipped onto a different, like it's like a parallel universe. She was like, oh yeah, you know, no one can touch me, like I'm the best to being like a little lap dog and I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I think Charlotte will win um, and I feel like I've seen Sasha and and Bailey being friends as well, I think that needs to change. So yeah, I'm going to stick with Charlotte. Right, Charlotte versus Sasha versus Bailey. Sasha all the way. Um, it was sad that she lost it in the first place. I think this is going to be a very good match. Um, it's the one I'm most looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I do think Sasha's going to win it back. We could have a big surprise, it could be Bailey though, so you never know. Next we have Chris Jericho versus Sami Zayn. Um, this feud kind of come out of nowhere, but it, at the moment it's developing all quite nicely. Um, but yeah, it did come a bit out of nowhere, like, oh shit, we used to do something with these two now, so let's just put them together. It just felt a bit like that. Whether they'll develop it into something, you know, really good, who knows. But they seem to be, at the moment, gelling quite well opposite each other. Um, I've actually gone with Jericho um, for this one. Um, I think that's probably the best way to carry the feud on, really, if Jericho wins. Because I imagine they're not going to just have a feud for two weeks and that'll be it. But who knows. Um, so yeah, that's just my 
thoughts on it really. Right, we got Sami Zayn versus Jericho. I really couldn't care less about this match. It's um it's kind of come out of nowhere, kind of sort of. Uh, but I've gone with Sami Zayn because I actually went with Jericho, so they're both on. They're both equal to me. I don't really care. So we have Rusev versus Reigns for the US Championship. Um, I've actually gone with Reigns. They love Reigns too much to not give him a championship. I just couldn't see it in that way. I mean, I think he was going that way before, but then Rusev had to go on his honeymoon or wedding or whatever. Um, so I'm glad that Rusev is actually back to take Reigns out of the Universal title picture because that was gross. Um, so yeah, I think Reigns is probably going to win. I actually don't want him to win. It's weird. I never thought I'd say that I actually do quite like Rusev being champion he he's so much better now he's away from league of nations so that just ruined him um but yeah probably gonna be reigns because i love him so much right uh same as the same as any jericho match rusev and reigns i don't really care so i actually went with reigns so i'm gonna go with rusev although i reckon reigns is probably the more likely uh person to win um gone for rusev anyway because why not so we have Shizaru versus Sheamus, and it's the last match of the Best of Seven series, which I'm glad is over. Um, the matches, I would have liked them to have had a bit of, like, more oomph, really, in terms of different stipulations or something. It was just the same thing over and over again, really. Um, now Cesaro's caught up and it's a draw, I think Cesaro's going to win it and take it home. Um, I think it'd be weird if Sheamus actually won, but who knows, I've gone for Cesaro. Right, got Cesaro versus Sheamus. I don't really like this pay-per-view, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've gone for Seamus because she went for Cesaro. <laughs> Is that it? Then we have the uh, Cruiserweight match, so it's TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick for the Cruiserweight Championship. I've gone with TJ Perkins, I don't just want it, it'd be a bit weird if he changed hands already, and it's the first time we're actually going to see him um, debut and wrestle. Um, I thought it was pretty obvious they were going to have Brian Kendrick in the match because it's Brian Kendrick, you know, that's the, that's the name that's probably going to make people want to watch that match, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I used to love Brian Kendrick, actually. I'm quite glad he's back, but I was a bit disappointed in Raw. He didn't really seem to do much. He just kind of laid in the corner and kind of won. There was a guy, I think his name was Alex. He was amazing. I actually really wanted him to win. Like, the crowd loved him. Like, honestly, it was so good. But he didn't win, unfortunately. Maybe next time. But, yeah, I'm going to go for TJ. Um, I'm quite excited to see what he's like. Um, but you will we'll see, I guess. Right, TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick. I partly went with Brian Kendrick because I, I haven't actually seen TJ Perkins in action yet. So gone for Brian Kendrick. I didn't like Brian Kendrick that much, but he didn't do much in the match and when he did, he wasn't that great. Um, the other guy was better, I can't remember his name. Um, but he got signed, he's on NXT now anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I was counting on Rich Swan, but he didn't get it. But yeah, Brian Kendrick, because I feel like they're going to make a bit of a fuss about it changing hands, so... And those are our predictions for Clash of Champions. Uh, let us know what you think. Comment below. Um, and yes, yeah, stay tuned for our um, review of the paper when we finally catch up. <laughs> um, but yeah, see who's going to eat the cake. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, retweet your tumble, follow us, sub us, like us, love us. Goodbye.